All right, good evening. So tonight I'm going to talk to you about uh, something which many may not know and it's very important to know that if you have this setting enabled in Google and this is location history. So what I want you to do is I want you to start by going to google.com, signing into your Google account and going to the top right uh, hand corner where you have your um, little thumbnail. Okay. And um, to illustrate that you can go here and you're going to select account okay and when you view your account you're going to notice under account you have account activity dashboard um, download your data me on the web and you want to click on dashboard it may ask you to sign in again okay and verify it and then I want you to go to dashboard and you'll scroll down until you see um, an item called location history um, under this you'll see location updated automatically and location history enabled so in this case I have location history enabled um, from here you can view location history uh, location history dashboard and settings so I want you to start by going to view location history so your location history again this is just a zoomed in version of view location history um, there's good and there's bad so the good is that you can track everywhere that you've been um, based on uh, what you put in for your location of your home. Uh, if you have uh, your workplace under location, uh, it'll automatically say um, when you get to work or get to home, it'll differentiate these and show you a graph of how many hours you spent at work, how many hours you spent at home, and so on and so forth. Um, this is a graphical uh, showing of the uh, map and it shows the different points on the map and you'll see a, a little graphical interface that shows when you left and driving and arrival um, or back uh, to home and you can see this button here play it'll actually take you to your starting point and to your end point and we're going to go through this and you can see a map on, uh, sorry a calendar on the left and you could actually view it um, over a certain number of days or weeks or months and show timestamps. So this is that play button I talked about and you can actually view when you started your uh, trip uh, to when you ended it and it's basically wherever your phone goes. And you can see here on the calendar if you want to know from one day, two days, three days, five days everywhere you've gone and where your phone has been and timestamps um, you can view this. Uh, it's a little bit uh, scary for some people, uh, but if you know you have it enabled, then um, I think it's um, you know should make you feel a little, little bit um, better. Um, now we'll go to location uh, history, okay? And again, you can show your timestamps. So if you clicked on these, it'll actually take you to exactly where you were at that time. So for example, say your boss says that you weren't at work or um, weren't you weren't somewhere well you can go into your location history and prove that you were there based on GPS settings uh, that's one of the good aspects of it you could track uh, how many hours you spent at work look at mileage how much you've driven in your car and so on okay so if we go to location history on the dashboard you'll see this interesting thing 41,580 miles traveled 184,041 miles more to the moon. So this is a very interesting dashboard um, and um, you'll notice that um, you can, based on where you have uh, your work uh, location set to and your home location set to, it'll actually give you a graphical interface showing you your time spent at work, your time spent at home. Uh, It'll also check you in automatically to these places and suggest or show places that are nearby. Okay? And it'll give you a history um, of when you've been to these places. And you can see in this example of mine, you know, you can look at most recent and look one through 228 and even go further and go to next. Um, so it's very, very um, precise. Um, Again, this is what I showed you time at work, and I'm not showing you the location here. Time at home. Um, so you can actually change your um, location of work, and if you work at multiple places, you can put that in, and it will actually give you a graphical 
uh, showing of how many hours you at work, how many hours you're at home, um, and so on. Countries you visited, so any airplane trips, it's very, very smart, and it shows you landing, taking off um, for each of the trips. It'll show you countries you visited, and it actually put the names of the countries in here. And um, my trips, it'll show you which trips you've taken, um, and it'll collect hundreds of them, thousands of them, depending on your trips. So the good and the bad, um, make sure you know whether you have this enabled. Um, it is obviously on the internet, um, anything's possible. Um, just I would check and see if you have location history enabled and be aware that it exists. Um, you can use it to your advantage um, in some instances, okay, but obviously anything on the internet that's um, this is vulnerable to um, you know people uh, gaining access to it okay so just my tip and trick for the uh, for the night and uh, check your um, dashboard on Google and look and see if your location history is enabled and monitor it okay enjoy